Alaska, UFO mothership chases jumbo freighter. In 1986, the crew of Japan Airlines Flight 1628 became the unwilling spectators of one of the most intriguing UFO encounters. The sighting remains unexplained to this day. A Japanese crew of a jumbo freighter aircraft witnessed three UFOs during their flight over Alaska, USA. The Federal Aviation Administration officially investigated the sighting, eventually leading to another mismatched conclusion. On November 16, 1986, one of Japan Airlines 747 cargo planes was set to carry a shipment of French wine from Paris to Tokyo. Flight 1628's crew consisted of veteran Captain Kenji Tarauchi, co-pilot Takanori Tamafuji, and flight engineer Yoshio Tsukuba. As they departed loaded with wine, JA-1 Lira 628 took off from Paris and flew over Reykjavik, the next day flying over Greenland and then across northern Canada without notable events. It was about seven or so minutes since we began paying attention to the lights when, most unexpectedly, two spaceships topped in front of our face, shooting off lights, Tarauchi stated. The inside of the cockpit shined brightly and I felt warm in the face. The crafts, one above the other, followed the 747 for several minutes before changing position. They were now on a side-by-side -side arrangement. Co-pilot Tamafuji said the lights were Christmas assorted and also pulsating slowly. At that point, Tamafuji decided to call Anchorage Air Traffic Control to report this matter. During this time, Captain Tarauchi and the flight engineer Tsukubiba tried to take some pictures of the UFOs but without success, as they were unfamiliar with the camera device and couldn't get it to work. Captain Tarauchi immediately reported to Anchorage Center that the UFOs could be seen on his radar, but the ground team couldn't see a thing on their scanning system. Surprisingly, after spending a few minutes looking, the military radar at Elmendorf Regional Operational Control Center managed to pick up some sort of signal near the 747's flight area. By that time, the JA-1 Lira 628 was above the bright city lights of Fairbanks. The lights from the pilot's cabin were off to avoid window reflections of inside light. When the crew noticed the same pale light coming from the back of the plane, they turned to check it out, and there it was, the shape of a gigantic spaceship. We must run away quickly. Captain Tarauchi yelled, the FAA investigated the event and did not issue its final statement until March 5. They concluded that the radar images received by ground scanner were a split radar return from the JAL Boeing 747. CSI COP later released a second thesis that the UFO was actually light reflected by clouds of ice crystals, also implausible because at the time of the report the sky was clear. Even if clouds of ice crystals would have been present, it could not account for the brightness and heat described by Captain Tarauchi. Reflected moonlight would have been dim and evenly distributed over broad areas. How could it have created the unmistakable lights in the flame patterns? How could it have mimicked the enormous mothership witnessed by the pilots? To this day, the JA-1 Lira 628 UFO encounter remains unexplained, despite the authorities' efforts to classify it as a mundane occurrence. No man-made craft can reach these speeds in Earth's atmosphere, at least none that we presently know of. For more information about Alaska, UFO mothership chases jumbo freighter. Visit our website ufoholic.com.